In this lesson, we're going to talk about calculations associated with uncertainty, specifically addition and subtraction. So let's start with this example. Let's say we have 43.3 plus or minus 0.2, let's say the units are inches, and we're going to add that to 35.6 plus or minus 0.3 inches. So what we have here is our measured value and our estimated uncertainty. Now, when performing operations, whatever the operation is here, you would simply add those numbers. So if you see a plus sign, you would add those numbers. Or if you see a minus sign, you would subtract those numbers. Now, when dealing with uncertainty, regardless if this is a plus or a minus sign, you would add the uncertainty values um, to each other. So let's go ahead and begin. So since we're adding, it's going to be 0.2 plus 0.3, which is going to be 0.5. Now we need to add those two numbers, 43.3 plus 35.6. 3 plus 6 is 9. 3 plus 5 is 8. 4 plus 3 is 7. So the answer is 78.9 plus or minus 0.5 inches. Now let's try another example. Let's say we have 26.8 plus or minus 0.4 feet and then 35.4 plus or minus 0.5 feet. So go ahead and work on this example. And we're going to add the two numbers. So let's begin by adding the uncertainties. 0.4 plus 0.5, that's going to be 0.9. And then 26.8 plus 35.4. 8 and 4 is 12. So we'll write the 2, carry the 1. 1 plus 6 is 7 plus 5, that's 12. Let's write the 2, carry the 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3, we get 6. So the answer is 62.2 plus or minus 0.9 feet. So that's all you need to do when adding two values that contain uncertainty. Now what about subtraction? Let's work on some examples with subtraction. So let's say we have 84.7 plus or minus 0.3 centimeters we're going to subtract that by 43.5 plus or minus 0.4 centimeters. So go ahead and try this example. Let's begin by subtracting these two numbers. 7 minus 5 is 2. 4 minus 3 is 1. 8 minus 4 is 4. Now, for the uncertainty values, we're not going to subtract them, even though we have a minus sign here. You should always add the uncertainty values. 0.3 plus 0.4 is 0.7. So this is our answer, 41.2 plus or minus 0.7 centimeters. Now you might be wondering why. Why should we add the uncertainties when this problem is a subtraction problem? The short answer is that it just works that way. Whenever you're dealing with operations with uncertainties, whenever you add two values with uncertainties, or if you, if you subtract, multiply, divide, the result, the uncertainty of the new result is actually greater than the individual uncertainties. The effect compounds with mathematical operations. And let's illustrate this with an example. Let's show why this works. So let's say we have 9.6 plus or minus 0.5 centimeters. And we're going to subtract it by 4.3 plus or minus 0.4 centimeters. 
So 9.6 minus 4.3, that's going to be 5.3. And we're supposed to add the uncertainty value. So 0.5 plus 0.4 is going to give us a greater value of uncertainty, 0.9. And let's see why that works. If we were to subtract it, the uncertainty will be smaller, 0.1. And that's just, it's just not going to work that way. Our new answer has quite a significant range. If we take 5.3, and subtracted by 0.9, that's going to give us 4.4. And then if we take 5.3 and add it to 0.9, that's going to give us 6.2. So the true answer is somewhere between these two numbers, between 4.4 and 6.2. Now let's get the range for the first value. 9.6 minus 0.5 is 9.1. 9.6 plus 0.5 is 10.1. So the first value is somewhere between 9.1 and 10.1. Now let's do the same thing for the second value. 4.3 minus 0.4, that's 3.9. And then 4.3 plus 0.4, it's 4.7. So the second value is somewhere between 3.9 and 4.7. Now, since this is a subtraction problem, what we're going to do now is we're going to subtract the top number by the bottom number, but using these range of values. So we're going to subtract these numbers in such a way that we can get the largest possible number and the smallest possible number. But we got to take a number from the top and subtract it by the number from the bottom, much in the same way as we got this number. So let's start by getting the maximum possible number. Which of these two values, or four values, should we subtract to get the maximum possible number? What we need to do is we need to take the largest of the top number and subtract it by the smallest of the bottom number. That's going to give us the largest possible difference. 10.1 minus 3.9, if you type that in, that will give you 6.2. Now, to get the smallest possible number, we need to subtract the smallest top number by the biggest bottom number. So in this case, 9.1 minus 4.7. And that will give us the smallest difference, which is 4.4. And that's an agreement to the uncertainty that we have for our final answer. We can see that the range is the same. The final answer is somewhere between 4.4 and 6.2. Therefore, when we're subtracting numbers with uncertainty, we should add the uncertainty values because it's going to give us the correct answer as we just demonstrated. Now, let's try an interesting example. Let's say we have 7.6 plus or minus 0.8 meters, and we're going to subtract it by 6.5 plus or minus 0.9 meters. Go ahead and work on this example. And then do everything that we did in the last problem, like prove it. Prove that your final answer is correct. So first, we need to add the uncertainties, not subtract them. 0.8 plus 0.9, that's going to be 1.7. Now what's 7.6 minus 6.5? 6 minus 5 is 1. 7 minus 6 is 1. So we get 1.1 plus or minus 1.7. Now let's think about what this means. In this particular unusual example, the uncertainty is greater than the measured value. And this is entirely possible. Now, if we were to write out a range of what our true answer will be, it's going to be 1.1 minus 1.7, which is negative 0.6, and then 1.1 plus 1.7, which is uh, 2.8. So it's going to be somewhere between these two. And you know what? I should be using brackets instead of parentheses since the answer could be included at the endpoints.
Now let's do the same for the top numbers. 7.6 minus 0.8. That's going to be 6.8. And 7.6 plus 0.8, that's 8.4. 6.5 minus 0.9. That's 5.6. And 6.5 plus 0.9, that's going to be 7.4. Now, to get the largest possible difference, let's take the larger of the top number and subtract it by the smaller of the bottom number. So 8.4 minus 5.6, that's going to be 2.8. And to get the smallest possible difference, we'll take the smaller of the top number and subtract it by the larger of the bottom number. 6.8 minus 7.4, that's going to be negative 0.6. So as we can see, the answer is in agreement with each other. So it is possible to get a situation where the uncertainty is greater than the measured value.